guys, Shadow Sabbath here, and today we're gonna be ranking all the bosses of Hollow Knight with my friend and amazing YouTuber Dev. Ooh. Anyway, let's begin with our tier list ranking. First, we have Absolute Radiance, who I actually have not fought yet. So, Dev, this is all you. I hate it. There's too many flying balls. But in all seriousness, <laughs> in all seriousness, um, it's a decent fight. I'm gonna say B because. You have to have like pure skill. You can't just descending dark your way through it. Which yeah, is a good set of boss. Also, I think you are switched. <laughs> Look at F and E too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there we go. Now our tier list is perfect. Anyway, next is that. That is. Is that? I guess we'll just count it as lost skin, cause you know the first version is pretty lame. Honestly, lost skin, yeah, lost skin is, uh, I'd say an easy boss fight. In my opinion, probably the easiest of the dream boss fights. He's pretty quick to die. The only hard part is the balloons, but it's kind of just shadow dash through. I'd go a solid C tier. Very interesting, Dev. Uh, Brooding Molly can go kill itself. I'm thinking F tier. Yep, agreed. So, Stupid it's not boss a bad boss, but it's like the fact that A, if you do the skip in the beginning and fight him first, he's gonna rock you, and B, in the Pantheon, I hate him. It's just a swipe attack. Everything else is okay, but why does he swipe at you, bro? It's a waste of a boss fit, I'm not gonna lie. It's just shooting, shooting sh things at you and then just swiping. Pretty much. Right. Baro Mato, the first of the new Pantheon bosses. Let, let's just be honest, Pantheon bosses are great. I'm going A tier. Agreed. Like, yeah, like they're they're not the perfect boss, but just it's really fun and very surprising the first time you go to God Home. It's a it's a very nice start to like the sense of God Home being like this. Yes, yeah. it, it makes God Home not just feel like a boss rush. It has something new. Exactly. All right. Uh, uh, is this crystal or enraged? Seeing as we have no other, I'm just gonna go with enraged. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I'd say this boss fight kind of sucks. I'd go D tier. So the issue with crystal guardian and enraged is genuinely shadow dash or shade cloak or whatever just breaks the fight completely. You just dash through him. He's not that well thought out. He just has one attack and jumps around. I wish they put more time into him. Cause he's the only boss in all the crystal area, the mount, the whatever it's the so cave or whatever. I wish they put more. Yeah, Crystal Peak. They should have put more effort into him though. Low key. Agreed. The only thing that makes him kind of difficult is that fact that like you can't pogo off him and it won't take a hit. That is true. It's, it's just such a it's oh, such God, a filler it. boss for that and for a beautiful area. It is. It could have been better. And then you know, yeah. anybody who knows me. No opinion. My opinion on Dung Defender, <laughs> easiest S2 ever. This man literally yells at you and then throws the balls of poop at you. Like amazing boss fight. <laughs> kind of like mid area, but it, it makes up for the mid area. Yeah, he he literally carries the waterways. I won't even lie. Elder who? Shit. Throws a background character. I'm not <laughs> sure. D. D. Like he. He's not bad. I think he's one of the better ghost bosses, but bro, he has two attacks. He, he's just a ghost boss. Oh wait, is this, oh, is that Enraged Crystal Guardian? I think so. Oh, I did not know they were separate. Well, he can join his brother in D tier. Yep, same, same thing, <laughs> double hearts. Look, he, hey, put the Crystal one down to F tier, honestly, bro. He just doesn't do double hearts. He just sucks. Honestly. Uh, just the Maggot. I think this is dream because this is false and this is dream. yeah if that's so we're just gonna rank this as if it's dream you know because this tier list isn't the best we didn't make it <laughs> but assuming this is the failed champion i'm putting him in b tier or c no because yeah he, the double damage is good he's much faster definitely one of the harder dream bosses but at the same time once you learn his movements, he's pretty easy, especially in the Pantheons. Alright, false knight, intro boss, 
pretty good sense yeah, of how the game Yeah, he gets a pass. Zippy. Yep. Good intro, boss. Yeah, he's not difficult, but he definitely, he feels the, like the definition of training wheels. Oh my god, F for Fluke Marm. S tier, easiest I boss of my you, life. Right? I, that. <laughs> I think the only boss in Hollow Knight I would describe as a horrible decision. Does not move, spit stuff, and tell nobody, but I may have died like 20 times because I didn't upgrade my nail. But listen, bro, that, that was an accident. We don't we don't need to talk about that. Bad all boss, bro. Alright, Mr. Mr. Flying Blade Man. Galleon. Galleon. Uh interesting concept. A bish streak though. So I'd go C tier. A better ghost boss, but literally just a bish streak. So, cool right. concept. God damn Also, he's a deep nest. Oh, God tamer. So, let me just say this. First off, Trial of the Fools is annoying. But having to fight this at the end of it is so annoying. It has armor constantly. It just rolls around. And then the, the, like, the actual tamer is so annoying because she just won't die and jumps around. I'm going C tier. It's not fun. And once you once you actually figure out how to beat him, it's so easy. All you have to do is literally poke him. That's all you have to do. Exactly. It's so basic. No words. Ascend with Gorb. Ascend with Gorb. <laughs> Gorb, decent boss battle in the Pantheon. It's definitely kind of difficult to stay full HP because he shoots two at yeah. you. I think that's what sucks about the Pantheon, one reason why you gotta take it into consideration. Because a lot of these bosses aren't hard, but losing any health in the Pantheon sucks, and Gorb isn't gonna kill you, unless you suck, but Gorb will take away your health, and we don't want that. Definitely does chip damage. Mm -hmm. Alright, S tier. I'm sorry, Sly. <laughs> Genuinely one of my favorite boss. I think tied for my favorite new Pantheon boss in God Home. Such a creative boss fight. It's not even hard, especially when you learn him. His second phase is only jarring your first or second time as well. But once you understand how it works, it's fun, it's fast paced, it's cool. I like it. He's one of the like few that are really well designed. Because he uses all three no I arts and the agree. third phase, he's just like bouncing around like a bounce house. Yeah, like that's how you make a buff. It feels fun, it fits his lore. Also, I like to say that the tiers are not in order. Like, they're obviously F to S, but like, I'm not saying Sly is worse than Dumb Defender. Well, yeah, this is this is just placing them. We're not like, place, place. Them. Yeah. All right. Next is so the insert 10 adjectives before you say his name. Uh, so, um, he's funny, and I like the boss as a concept, but also, if you're in a pantheon and you start losing health and die to Zoe, you want to kill him and wish you never saved him. I'm going A or B. I'd, I'd say B. He sh it's Real. the fact that he does like double hearts too. Oh my god. Like they, I'm so glad I like lost all my progress and did it again. If you guys know, and doing it again, I purposely did not save him for that reason because nobody loves him. I'm forced to fight him and, every uh, single time. Gross Mother. So Gross Mother was the first fight in Hollow Knight I ever fought. It's easy, but then again, like I said, first fight ever. I can't blame it for that. A few different attacks and pretty entertaining. And then you get to watch a mother brutally bash around and then die and then her children come out of her stomach. So I think that's a C tier. I agree. Nice little intro mini boss. Not, not anything I special. Agree. All right. We don't talk about Hive Knight. We don't talk about Hive Knight. <laughs> we, we definitely have to talk about it because my friend here. I may have died 15 times to Hive Knight because. In a row. I hate... <laughs> In a row. And then, because I did not know there was a shortcut, I ran all the way back. And if you know the bench in the Hive, it's, it's not close. Around three hours spent on Hive Knight. And then the second I got Quick Slash, I beat him first try and have not lost to him since. It's a well-designed, fun boss, and I'd put this in a solid B tier. The whole thing about Hive Knight that you have to learn is just that you don't have to match his speed. Literally just wait around, dash through, or jump over him. He's one of the easiest bosses in the game. I don't know what I was on, bro. <laughs> Alright, this is uh, First Hornet. Green Path. Yeah. Queen's Garden. Green Path. Bro, Queen's Garden is crazy. Yeah, I love starting in Queen's Garden. <laughs> No, but you fight her in the arena in Queen's Garden, I think, right? 
Yeah, definitely. The Queen's Garden is definitely not an end area. You need acid swim to get to them. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Yes. But yeah, in the, the, the green path, I think as an intro boss, she's definitely a big step up from anything in the Crossroads. She's not Grant's mother. She's not False Knight. But she's definitely not difficult. This is also the training wheel stage where you can beat her and still suck at the game. It's a... I agree. A good intro boss. Alright, this is Kingdom's Edge Hornet. Big step. Uh, the boss fight, the build up is absolutely amazing. Chasing her from the city of Tears, finding Kingdom's Edge just to see her there, the wind and the ashes blowing. And she has new attacks. She has a spike thing. She has a parry. I think this is a low A tier or high B tier. I'd say it's around A. The spikes definitely may add a difficulty to it because you have to focus on that and her jumping at you. And especially in the Pantheon, it's very easy to get overconfident and get hit once or twice. Now, what is this? I think that's Lost. That's like the other Lost. Not Lost Kid. Like, that's like his broken dying vessel. animation when it's fired. Broken Vessel, yeah. Assuming it's Broken Vessel, and again, sorry guys, because we don't know these, because whoever made this tier list isn't the best at making tier lists. Um, no offense. <laughs> but, uh, I put him D tier. He's just a less hard version of the other one. It's not that fun. Broken Vessel. It's a hype boss fight concept, and you get Monarch Wings, but pretty lame. All right. This is not sisters, this is the other one that I'm forgetting its name. Yeah, it is, um... Man... I forgot their name. Mantis Lord. Mantis Lord. Mantis, Mantis Lord. Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A tier. Generally, this boss fight was one of my favorites in the game. It's just that when it... Like, the only thing that could make it better is, you know, crazy concept. If you fought all three of them at the same time, I'd put a fight like that in S tier, you know? Well, <laughs> he's easy, but not fun. Like, why give him shields? But then in the Pantheon, they're just like, what could we do to make Markov more fun? Take away the floor! So. Just saying, floor makes this boss fight much easier. You can just pogo him to the yep. ground. Yep, I started off, like, in every other Pantheon, I would just start off by abyss shrieking him three times and then pogoing him to the ground. So, you know. Nobody loves him. And here's the thing, in Pantheon 5, you have to there start with like died. a nail master strike. And you just have oh, to continue to sounds do that. Annoying. He, I am genuinely glad he died in Kingdom's Edge where nobody can find him. That's what he deserves. Right. Marmu. Unique boss. I Bro's think. just a mini game. He's literally a mini game. You're just hitting him back. Like, he doesn't, or I think it's a she, doesn't do anything but just roll at you with the same attack where you just hit her back up or a mystery. Kind of a detail. Poor game design. I mean, it's definitely unique but to all the fun. other ones. I feel like uh, true, especially for close bosses. See, I can see that. Massive boss charger. I see it. I see it. <laughs> Massive boss charger is truly the best boss to ever exist. I love Bastion Boss. The first time I fought it, I thought it was a regular enemy until I realized it was. Alright, actual seriousness, D tier, he has two moves. Yeah. Let's, let's be realistic yeah. here. The Nightmare only reason King. I give him a pass over like Luke Marm is because he like is early. So Nightmare, oh my god. Best. What's not to love One of the best fight? boss fights. Absolutely. It feels challenging but fair. And when you learn it, it genuinely feels like a dance, which is the point, and it's done perfectly. All right, no eyes. Uh, no eyes can go, you know, jump off a bridge. <laughs> Actually, F tier works too. Nobody loves no eyes. It like the boss fight's annoying. I don't want to have to go platform and go chase her and then hit her and then chase her with a bunch of ghost things flying around. It's not even hard. It's just tedious and I don't find it fun. Especially the pantheon because everything's filled with thorns. Everything. Yep. That sounds painful. No I, Nosk. I think I hate Nosk because the buildup is one of the greatest things to ever exist. Like, seeing yourself run away just for it to be a spider in an area is so cool. The issue is, this is the only boss in Deep Nest and area I already hate. And he does not, he runs at you, 
he screams and then runs at you. And you can literally just hide in the crevice under the stadium, or not stadium, the floor, hit him, and then pogo him when he's at your level. He's such a poorly made boss. Yeah, I agree. Nobody loves you, Nosk. All right, big, All big blobbles. blue balls, the blue ball man. Men. Yeah, so th I think what I like about the Oblobbles is that they're not hard, but the whole mechanic of killing one and raging the other, making the boss fight more difficult, is well done. They seem like the definition of a B tier to me. Really deep, Dev, were you thinking D tier? Nah. That, that, that. <laughs> nah, fair enough. Alright, Shio. I gotta put you in S tier. Oh my god. I wish he had more health. That's my only complaint about the boss fight. The fact that his, the paint color on his brush dictates his attack is such a cool feature. He's in the Pantheon, so it's a surprise. I think after Oro and Mato, you kind of assume. But it's still super cool to fight him. It's just such a well-made fight. Pure Vessel. You know, when I fought Broken or uh, Hollow Knight... Yeah, I agree. When I fought the Hollow Knight, the first thing I thought was this boss fight is fun, but it doesn't feel like a finale. And he stabs himself, so it felt too easy and unfair in my side. Pure Vessel takes away every issue I have with the Hollow Knight in the best way possible. It, it has range attacks. The third phase has a tentacle attack, which is annoying it sometimes, but once you get it, it's easy. Yep, the pure focus, and, this, the whole, and the lore implications, it's just so well done. Alright, Normal Rad. Normal Radiance is going to be C tier. I think my main issues with this boss fight is A, you have to fight the Hollow Knight to get there, which is just tedious and not hard at that point. And B, the fact that it's challenging, but at some points just feels underwhelming. Like, this is, for all Hollow Knight has to offer, this is the boss you have to get void heart for you have to do all these stupid quests just for a boss that's difficult but not all that hollow knight has to offer which is why i'm glad they added absolute radiance definitely a step up <laughs> yeah a step up and now the best arguably to me the best boss in the game the sisters of battle take like i remember the first time i played hollow knight and the first thing i thought was that it was obviously going to be fighting three at once. And when I saw only two, I was like, oh, I'm a little disappointed, but cool. The Pantheon changed that. Oh my god, what a fight. The amount of... The, you have to have a, such a good reaction time to everything that's happening on the screen. It's actually... It's so fun. And the best part is it's a boss fight where you die to not going, I hate this game. It's like Nightmare Kingdom. You die to it going, that was so fun. And the feeling you get when you dodge them all perfectly and kill one and then two, it's so nice. Alright, Soul Master. I'm gonna call the first one Master, the second one Tyrant. Soul Master, I'm going D tier. I think he, especially after Tyrant, he's so telegraphed. Every, I get he's early. I'll give you that. But like, by now you've probably even fought the Mantis Lords, which I think are so much better. He's slow. His attacks are really, really slow. I don't like him. Second phase definitely is different, but it's easy to dodge. Yeah, I agree. Especially with Sharp Shot. It's like, first time, sure, it's kind of jarring, but after that. Now, Soul Tyrant, I think, fixes a lot with this fight. He's way faster. He can't be hit as easily. He's more protected. It's actually a threat, but still not hard. Like, once you beat any difficult boss, he gets so easy. I'm going C tier. As he literally flies around the screen, bro, just like in the game. Okay. Alright. What is this soul warrior? F tier. Oh my god, he's such a horrible. Such a waste. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> he didn't even do a death animation. He just died like an enemy. <laughs> so sad. It is. Alright. Collector. Um. Literally, he's so goofy, bro. Then you have to lock the Tower of Love. He gives you the Grub Map, which is a plus, but he's so goofy. My man just jumps. He doesn't even attack you. He just jumps around. I, I think he's a B tier, yeah. Like, literally, it's just a fun fight, you know? You're breaking open stuff and then just killing him. I enjoy it. The Hollow Knight. Mm, I have a big issue with this fight. Pure Vessel solved it, but I gotta give it C tier. And my issue with the Hollow Knight, the reason I can't put this boss any higher, 
is as fun as it is and how the lore helps it, the buildup isn't worth it. You hear about the Hollow Knight the whole game. The game is literally called Hollow Knight. Yeah, I can name like 10 bosses or 15, 20 that are harder than it. I, It was a little disappointing. Traitor Lord. First few times I fought him, I thought he was one of the hardest bosses in the game. After that, he got a lot easier for me. But he's still a well-made boss in my opinion. The buildup's amazing, and the fact that he's like his lore of willingly taking in the infection is just so cool to me. So I gotta get it. I'd say C. Yeah, I'd go B personally, but I can see C. There's definitely better. Grim. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's better. Grim is Grim is a great boss fight until you fight Nightmare King, and then he's just like uh. Like the watered down version, you know? Nothing to hate, but. I'd say A or B. I'd say A too. Like, once you know how good it can be, you're like, you know, like, I remember when I first fought Grim, I thought it was really good, but then I fought Nightmare King, and yeah. Umu. For the sake of Umu not being put in F tier, hear me out, hear me out. With Coral. With, with Coral, I loved this fight. It was really fun. I'd go B tier. Without Coral, I think this fight should never have existed, and it can go F tier, so. You can I'd say, choose. I still let's go in between and say C. C. Unique boss. Valid. Kinda annoying mechanics with the whole hit the jellyfish yep. into it. That's what sucks. When you have coral, it's fun. You have to practice your platforming, and it's a cool idea. Without coral, it's now just hit the jellyfish, and then you miss him, and then it comes back and explodes, which isn't fun. And it does two hearts. Thank God he has no health, bro. Thank God he can be like two cycled. Venge Fly King. King. Technically a super early boss fight. Not necessarily bad, but in the Pantheon, he's just annoying. For a first boss, he takes a while to kill because he's just never at your level. I'd go D. Agreed. Watcher Knights. Watcher Knights. Oh my god. I hate and love these bosses at the same time. It's literally the... It feels like it should be up there with Sisters of Battle, you know? It's constantly fighting stuff, it's fast-paced to a degree, but it just doesn't feel... It feels awkward most of the time. You have one of them, like, bouncing like a spiky ball. Sometimes it feels unfair with how fast they go, but once you get it, you kind of get it. I'd go B or C. White Defender! Every issue I have with Dung Defender is now solved. He can no longer be hit out of the ground with Descending Dark. He's faster. He's stronger. He has a new attack. I love White Defender. It's so cool. All right, Flying Nos. Venge Fly King. <laughs> I mean, we Nos. I think the only cool part about this boss fight is that it looks like Hornet, which is a very like I never thought Nos could get me twice, and it did. Besides that, why? Why can he can fly? Just made it. Zero. I mean, he has like two different, two more attacks. That's it. Oh, yeah, he, he's he's now Venge Fly King plus Nosk. <laughs> all right, zero. He's uh, he's he's all right. He's a fun boss. Yeah, I he can still do the same because he's damage. Like the first one you fight. Yeah, he's like the first one you fight ever because he's right there. So he gets a little bit of a pass, but eh. I'd say like B. I just B. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally S tier. Seeing so Zoe. <laughs> in the trials and being able to beat him up was one of the greatest feelings i've ever felt in my entire life it can't be replicated with anything else in hollow knight except beating the fifth pantheon headless see before we knew about uh gray prince so with insert 10 adjectives here he he just releases so many emotions about this boss no it was the great like after him constantly saying how he didn't need you to save him beating him up felt so oh my lord all right that's, that's it. it i mean you know if you like the tier list please like and subscribe if you don't like the tier list you know i i, I don't Go know screw like yourself. and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> i don't know rewatch it and change your opinion you know i understand you may change stuff a bit you know like i know some people have wrong opinions and that's cool but in all seriousness thank you for watching and let's see if you enjoy the this type of content. You know, go subscribe to Dev. He has the greatest YouTube channel ever. Go hang, go hang, go hang. Tied with mine, of course. And yeah, have a nice day.